Welcome to another episode of Flash Performance. We're going to show you today how to clean up your act. We're going to take a deeper look at the CRC Smart Washer. We're going to take a look at what makes it different. What makes it unique versus all the other parts washers in the industry and really what makes it tick. And what makes it tick starts with these. These are the filters. So these lay in the top of the pan to be able to catch any debris or any uh, large chunks or particles that are going to go through. But it's what's special about the mats that make this whole process work. When you open up your mats, you're going to notice that you have three filter mats, which are just plain white. And then the last one is going to be a little different. This one is blue. And the reason that it's blue is because this is what contains the bacteria that makes the CRC smart washer different from any other washer on the industry. This contains bacteria called Ozzy's. And these Ozzy's are actually bacteria that eat hydrocarbons. So as you're using this washer and you're cleaning a cylinder head or an intake, it's actually going to take all those hydrocarbons, go through the filter, anything that makes it to the bottom, it's going to take that fluid through that Ozymat and activate that bacteria. That bacteria will sit in the bottom of the smart washer and clean all the time. Think of it as uh, the bacteria in your gut. It's always cleaning out and always working on the particles inside your body. And this works in exactly the same way. But it's not just the fact that you have the Ozymat and the Ozzy bacteria running around. You have to have the right fluid. And that fluid comes in the form of Aussie juice. Now, Aussie juice is a non-toxic fluid for your smart washer that works together with the Aussie mat to be able to make everything clean and keep clean. So the idea is you don't have to ever really take this thing apart, but maybe once a year to actually clean out the inside of the tank. But it's more than that. So once you get inside the tank, that's where the magic happens. To be able to disassemble the CRC smart washer is actually a very easy process. There's a pin on each side that we pull out. And then we have to disconnect the hose that runs up to the spray bar. To do that, we just pull the two quick disconnects and the hose comes off. Now that whole piece will come off the top. What I wanted to show you is in here. When we look inside the smart washer, you can see the pump assembly is down here at the bottom. So that sits in the bottom and it has a little filter on it to keep any large debris out. But also there's a heater box here with a heater coil that goes down to the bottom. So when you run this, it actually heats up the Aussie juice. That heat is really the key ingredient to make all of the cultures activate to be able to keep the smart washer clean. If you do have to disassemble, which is like once a year to be able to check and make sure that you don't have a whole bunch of debris down here in the bottom, it's very easy to do. Two pins, disconnect a hose, and it's just as easy to put back together. If you haven't noticed, it's on wheels. It makes it an amazing tool to be able to move around wherever you need it to be. So now you can take your parts washer to your parts instead of bringing your parts to the parts washer. Also, here's the electrical box that makes everything run. There's an on off switch here on the side. You plug in just a normal 110 outlet to be able to run the heater and the pump at the same time. It's time to get this thing full of Aussie juice. Before we can lay the juice to it, we got to do one thing, and that is put the filter mats in. To do that, 
you'll have a little tray. This is your main catch tray. This is what catches all your big particles and debris. That comes out pretty easy. Underneath that, you have a larger tray, and then the filters will go underneath this. So we're going to take that, we're going to set that to the side. When you look at your filters, it says this side up. So we're going to lay those filters right down in there. They have a nice little home to sit in. We're going to put our tray back down, and then we'll put our catch tray down also. Now we're ready to pour in the juice. Now, the kit that I got comes with 15 gallons, so three five-gallon jugs of Aussie juice. Now, I got this from my local tool supplier. Uh, you can also check your local parts stores. Tons of people sell these. Actually, my local parts store stocks Aussie juice in the store. So if you need to get some, maybe your uh, low fluid light comes on and you're in a hurry to be able to get this thing back up and running, call your local parts store, your local tool guy, and they'll be able to deliver this stuff to you. The tray is nice and big, so we don't have to worry about spilling it. We're gonna set this whole jug down in here and open the top. Child proof. Ha! Hold on. I have a tool for this. <laughs> Fluid cap wrench. These guys thought everything. Good deal. Awesome. It's highly recommended to keep a hold of these jugs. And the reason being is if you ever need to uh, get the fluid out of your tank, it gives you something to put the fluids in that you know are going to be clean. So keep a cap on them, keep a hold of them, put them off into storage. That way you always have access to them. Now, if you remember, I told you this is non-toxic. Notice I'm not wearing any gloves. So this is, this is a safe solvent that you don't have to worry about yeah, hurting yourself or wearing those big old mittens trying to keep your hands protected because the other stuff is so violent. But also, it's non-flammable. Now, you notice that there's no lid, there's no cap to this, there's nothing that closes automatically. When you look at a solvent tank, it has that safety lid on it, and on the hinge, it has a little fuse that if that solvent tank catches on fire, it will automatically close the lid to smother it. You don't have to worry about it with the smart washer. This is non-flammable, so we don't have to worry about catching on fire. And if you're like me, I do a lot of fabrication, a lot of grinding, a lot of using a torch, and that's one less thing that I have to worry about in my shop. But also, it doesn't smell bad. Solvent, as soon as you open that tank, you get that nastiness smell. You don't have to worry about it with a CRC smart washer. Fifteen gallons fills this all the way up to as high as it needs to be. And then as you use it, you're gonna have a little bit of fluid evaporate or maybe you spill it out. As you need it, just add more Aussie juice. There's an overflow on the side, so you can't add too much. Uh, and then the pump will just keep cycling and we're good to go. So let's see how this thing does. Let's clean up some heads. Now, where am I gonna find a dirty cylinder head at? Ah, <laughs> there's one. Hold please. On the power box, you'll notice that it says heater, temperature, pump, fluid, and power. Whenever we plug this unit in, it automatically always has the heater running, trying to keep the Aussie juice 
at a set temperature. So it'll start going through its diagnostics, making sure everything's good. And then if there's any issues, like if your fluid is low, that light will light up. But right now it's just warming up the peat to be able to get the Aussie juice up to the right temperature. Let's turn it on and get some juices flowing. Now there's a knob over here on the, the pump so you can really dial in how much pressure you want to have. And also on the wand, there's a push button. So you push that down and then the fluid comes out. So you can really control how much of a mess you're going to be making in the whole process. Let's get something in there. There you have it, the smart washer from CRC. Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, this made quick work of the cylinder head. I got a little bit of cleaning to do on the inside, but it works fantastic. One of the big things that I really love about this machine is I can use this to do brake jobs and brake service. So we all work with those guys that Whenever a brake job comes in, they take that air hose and they blow out that rear drum so all the dust and nastiness goes all over the shop. Also, don't use this as an oil drain. Don't be putting all your grease and grime and pouring fluids down here. Don't put this under your drum brakes whenever you're using brake clean and letting that run in there. That kills the bacteria and totally defeats the purpose of the smart washer. So use this only with the approved fluid to put in it. Uh, leave it plugged in whenever you need to heat it up, switch it on, roll it to wherever you need to go. Last thing I'll tell you about the smart washer is it makes sense. Being able to clean stuff without having the, the solvent just burn through your skin. I have a couple of cuts and it didn't hurt me at all. And actually my hands feel nice and soft and smooth. I don't have to worry about the toxicity of solvents anymore. And if you're a shop and then you're looking to maybe to downsize your footprint for the environment, this is a great way to go. Or if OSHA is all up in your business about your solvent tank and fluids all over the place, taking this and replacing your solvent tank with a smart washer takes your level down. So keep that in mind also. Lots of benefits to the smart washer. If you are a shop with a lot of stupid people, you don't have to worry about them getting hurt. If you're a school with students, you don't have to worry about them either because it's non-toxic. Make sure you wear your safety specs whenever you're using it because you're going to make a mess. You're going to splash it around, but you don't have to worry about getting it on your hands or getting it on the floor. And you don't have to worry about disposing of the toxic fluids from your solvent tank and trying to figure out some place to take that nastiness and taking that sludge. So I'm Chad from Flash Performance. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you check it out. Check out the smart washer from CRC. Check with your local tool supplier or even your local parts store. They can get you hooked up.